Hi everybody, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture. I go by the nickname Ginger. It's not cute not knowing, as I have on my on my notes and everything in front of me. It's not cute not knowing. We start with a hug. So come on, let's do let's let's do the hug. Let's get started. Who are we gonna talk about first? Let's talk about books. This week, the new edition of People Magazine features Gabrielle Union, Dwayne Wade. They talk about raising their authentic family. There's their daughter. I messed up. I said that they adopted her. She was born through surrogacy. That's their youngest, Kavia, which is three. There's the transgender child. There's an older son from Dwayne Wade's ex-marriage. There is the nephew that he's raising. There's also the son that he had when he was on a break from Gabrielle Union. They're raising that son too. That really is raising an authentic family, but it is a beautiful story. And they've got a couple of projects. There's a new kids, kids book called Shady Baby, Shady Baby based on their daughter who has the, the facial expressions are are unbelievable, but Shady Baby is about embracing that superpower, and this book is coming out in May. Gabrielle Union is also writing another book on her life. In this book, you got anything stronger? She talks about her journey with surrogacy. It's a series of essays. She also talks about how the entertainment business, how they responded to the Black Lives Matter movement. This book is coming out in September, and as always, you know, Gabrielle Union has something to say, but that issue, that story, People Magazine, it's on newsstands this week. Another book coming out is Rapper Little Kim, The Queen Bee. I love Little Kim. <laughs> so we're going to start there. I love Little Kim. This book is coming out November the 2nd. Hidden Moments of Her Reign, The Real Story is Kimberly Denise Jones. We're going to find out November the 2nd as she talks about her life. We know about Biggie. We know about when she was in Junior Mafia, the only female in Junior Mafia. Being in the music business, she's a mom now. She went to jail for a stint. She did a lot of plastic surgery. I hope she talks about it because Kim, 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 I can't talk today. Kim is pretty. Kim is pretty. She needs to do all that to her nose and stuff. She, oh. I hope she talks about it. In a nearly 30-year career, little Kim was a trailblazer. She was the one wearing the purple wigs and the pink wigs and, and doing all that. She was a trailblazer, and I hate when people, you know, disrespect her because there was a time in the 90s when Little Kim reigned. When that album, Hardcore, came out in 1996, I was dating this guy, and he was like, you like all that trash? <laughs> she's my she's my Cardi B, because I know the music industry is crazy right now. All the girls are naked. But I don't know. She was like my guilty pleasure, and I just, I just, I like that album. I thought, I just thought she was a hoot. But I hope that she's transparent with this book. Because if you write a book and you don't talk about things that are so obvious, like years ago, Diana Ross wrote her autobiography. She never talked about the fact that her oldest child, Rhonda, that the father was Barry Gordy. Now the girl looks just like him. She went through the whole book. You got to sell books. You got to be, you got to be open. I tell people, if you're not ready to be open, don't write a book. Don't write a book. Don't, don't do it because it's going to be too many questions and, and I, I want, I want little Kim to win. So I hope she can explain to those of us who are like, Kim, why are you doing surgery? You're pretty. I hope that she does, but I'm excited. Little Kim, the queen bee coming in November. Tomorrow, Michael B. Jordan is taking on all the bad guys. Without remorse, it starts streaming on Amazon Prime. Lauren London is in it. Jody Turner Smith is in it. Coleman Domingo plays a pastor in it. He looks good. He is literally fighting everybody in this 
but it starts streaming tomorrow. Michael B. Jordan, he looks good. We do have Dionne Warwick news. The Tella bio, the biopic, and Netflix was supposed to pick it up. Now we're finding out why it's not going forward at Netflix. The producer, Scott Rudin, who has done projects and is known in the business, he in trouble for being a workplace bully. Throwing ashtrays and stuff at people. Don't you hate a bad boss? And then when you got to do that, but today, y'all know people fighting back. And they said, no, 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 no. We're not going to do this today. You're not going to throw an ashtray at me. We're going right to HR. Some people don't know how to lead. And, and we all know there are bosses who lead. And then there are bosses like, please take that title from them because they don't know what they're doing. Or it goes to their head. And it's like, but you're an idiot. You don't even, you, you don't even know what you're doing. So... I don't think the project is going forward at Netflix. There was a lot of excitement. Tiana Taylor in there, the player. I think they're still going to do it. They just got to go somewhere else to make sure that the biopic is made. Now, Aunt Tiana is also making headlines. She's been giving a lot of interviews because she's doing a Mother's Day show, right? So they, she says she don't know if she could, you know, perform with Mariah Carey or Tony Braxton. I said, Miss Warwick, we can say a lot of things about Mariah Carey. We know she's ditzy, but she can sing. Mariah Carey can sing. There may be a lot of quirkyisms around her, but you got to give it to her, Mariah. Carrie can sing. Now, Tony Braxton, she mumbles a lot, and I wish she would continue to sing, but her body is fabulous, and that's how this story is playing out. I wish she wouldn't comment on other... She doesn't hold her tongue, but I was just like, you look, you look petty. Don't, don't. Mariah can sing. But she don't hold her tongue. That's one thing that Dionne Warwick doesn't do, and I found out years ago, but today... We get along, and she's excited about this concert, May 9th. For tickets, info, go to DionneWarwick.com. And did y'all know that she's a social media maven? Her tweets on Twitter are really, really funny. Funeral services for rapper Shock G is this Saturday. He died last week at the age of 57. He's going to be buried in Tampa, Florida. Still don't know what happened, but there was no signs of trauma. Actor Tiny Lister, Debo from the Friday movies, he died of heart disease. He passed away in December at the age of 62. Power Book 3, it's coming this summer, Raising Canaan. But we got news on Power Book 2. We're going to have to wait probably a year before Power Book 2 comes out. But Red Man and Method Man are reuniting they're going to play brothers in Power Book 2. You know, Meth plays that lawyer. Red Man and Method Man. 25-year uh, career. Did anybody see their verses that they did? So there's a lot of interest in them. There are no strangers to being in front of the screen. In 2001, they had the movie How High. In 2004, before they got into a fight with the Fox executives, they had Method Red. It was a show. It only lasted nine episodes, and a big fight happened on the set, and they were like, get out, y'all, get out. But they're coming to Power Book 2. And on a final note, we were talking about Tristan Thompson. He won't stop cheating on Chloe. And child, this, this girl, she won't cheat. Side chicks talk. <laughs> Side chicks talk. She said that Tristan told her that Chloe wasn't his type. Which is obvious, because he got a type that he cheats on, but he likes Khloe Kardashian's money. Mm -hmm. We'll just do a little hum on that. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining me. Um, the notification button so you'll know when the video comes on. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Um, I don't know. Somebody, somebody keeps going on. They will give me a thumbs down. 
and the minute I come on, that has to be the racist that I snatched up. And I'll snatch you up again if you ever mean to me. You don't have to like it. You don't have to like the stories or understand. But you're going to be nice. That's my motto, and I'm sticking it, sticking to it. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. It's not cute not knowing. And now you know. Have a great afternoon, everybody. And have a good one.